Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today is Saturday and it's currently 6.30 in the morning and I'm just getting ready to leave. My mum, my sister and myself are doing a day trip to Hobart, which is the capital of Tasmania. It's two and a half hours away from where my mum lives, three and a half hours away from where I live, so I stayed at my mum's last night. Yeah, we're gonna go pick my sister up at seven and head down, grab a coffee at like a town on the way. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's go. guys welcome back so last weekend my mum my sister and I took a little road trip down to Hobart the reason we went there is because there is three stores I wanted to go to baby shopping that are not anywhere else in the state and I personally still prefer in-person shopping especially for things like this so main one is baby bunting is the only store in Tasmania and it's in Hobart big W there's no other big W there's no VW in Launceston, Devonport, anywhere, and also there's a H&M in Hobart, so I really wanted to go to that. So we went on a, just a day road trip and we went shopping and bought a bit of stuff, so I wanted to film a little baby haul for you. Um, I have bought more things since then, but I'm just going to show you what we did buy while we were in Hobart. My mum and sister did kindly purchase a couple of these items for me. I'll show you the two main ones that they bought. Okay, so I'm gonna just start with baby bunting. The main big thing that I needed to buy was a car seat. We actually needed two car seats, one for my car and one for Brett's car, um, but we could only fit one in my mum's car because she also bought a porta cot bassinet thing for her house. Um, so we ended up just buying the one for my car and then I bought the other one for Brett's car online using some reward dollars that I got from the Hobart shopping trip. So it all worked out in the end anyway. One of the big things which my mum bought for us, which we appreciate so, 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 so much, is the Baby Bjorn Carrier. This is not the mini one. This is the main one, I suppose, um, that goes from zero to three years. So my mum bought that for us. I honestly don't know how much it was, but I think it's 200 and something dollars. Um, but yeah, very, very excited to have this. I want a wrap as well. Um, but I'll just buy that online because I want like this particular brand and then my sister bought this grow egg the Tommy Tippy grow egg Which I knew that I wanted um, Because it's you know, it's the light, but it also shows the temperature which means you can adjust the temperature up and down or Dress the baby accordingly. So I knew I wanted that for you know the light for night feeds and things like that but also the temperature so it just does the two in one. So she bought that for us, which we really, really appreciate. I bought one Love to Dream swaddle and I actually bought it in the size small, not in newborn, because we were reading the um, like weights, I suppose. And my mum was like, well, two out of three of you were already that weight when you were born. And I was like, yeah, true. So I just bought the size small and what I reckon I'll do because they come up on Facebook Marketplace all the time, is I bought, might buy a couple of newborn ones or even just one off Facebook Marketplace, just in case. Otherwise, I've got this one and if he likes it, I'll buy more. But I'm gonna have like a couple of different types of swaddles and then whichever one he prefers or I prefers, I'll buy a couple more. Um, I did buy one cute thing from Baby Bunting. I didn't buy any clothes or anything from there because it's expensive, um, but also I'm very, very, very picky. But I did spot this little bib set, um, which is like a bandana dribble bib style, and it's in like a muted mustard yellow. So the top one has this little pattern on it, and then the bottom one's just plain. So I thought they were really cute, and I love I love dribble bibs, like little bandana bibs on babies. My favorite. I wanted to get a bath temperature gauge thermometer thing. I only just went with the cheap, the cheapest one, not like the ducky one, because I think after a few times, I'll know the right temperature, like by dipping my elbow in, as people say. So 
Um, but at first I'll have no idea. So I wanted to go with um, just the cheap one. This was like $7 or something. And then I also saw this at Big W, so. And then the last thing from Baby Bunting is I just got this two pack of Tommy Tippy anti-colic bottles with like the temperature thing in the middle. I am planning on breastfeeding if I can. I'm going in with the mindset of I just want my baby fed. <laughs> And so if me breastfeeding doesn't end up happening, then so be it. But I wanted to get a couple of bottles anyway, just for when, you know, if I can't or if I need to pump or whatever. I just wanted to have some ready to go just in case. And then if something happens and I need more, I'll get more. That is all we got from Baby Bunting. So everything else is more in the clothes cute side of things. H&M. So I only bought a couple things because I actually went there and didn't love much which is surprising because I thought I would, but you'll see when I go through everything that I have a very neutral, muted color preference. Yeah, I only bought two things. So I bought this little pack of newborn socks. So I think they're newborn or well, three zeros. Um, I just like the colors um, and socks for like new newborns are really hard to come by, which I find so, so odd. And then the only other thing is I got a three pack suits um, from the 100% organic range because of the softness, but also the colors. So um, they're these little long sleeve suits. So these ones do have the button and they're like a crossover. I'm not sure I understand. Okay, well, I wasn't talking to you, so that would be why. So there's a little white one, there's a little oatmeal-y one, and then my favorite one, there's a white and oatmeal striped one and I just think they are adorable and I got them in a three zero yeah got them in a three zero we did also go into Target because I was looking for these cot sheets which weren't in stock turns out they're not in stock anywhere in Tasmania so I've been trying to get them from um, somewhere in Victoria get them delivered and then I've got a whole process happening we'll see if they actually arrive while we're in there we also picked up some other things. I did get two little bassinet sheets. Again, one's in this like sage green and one's in like a cream nude color. I don't know if they'll fit what we have. Um, if you watch one of my last videos, I have a co-sleeper bassinet. I don't know if these will fit. They also, I don't know if they'll fit the bassinet in my pram because that's obviously a lot smaller. These might be in between. I don't know. I just, they're, they're not expensive and they're cute colors. So I just thought I'd grab them while I'm there and then I'll figure out where they fit. I bought two little singlet suits that are identical, one in a three zero and one in a four zero. They're just a little pointel singlet suit in like an oatmeal-y color. What's the color called? It's called gray, but I would say it's like a beigey oatmeal color. So I bought four zeros and three zeros. I bought two of the Target brand zippy suits in four zeros. Um, I'll show you the brown one. Um, it's a zippy suit and it's got the little fold over for the mittens and this one ha is footed. So I got this in the brown and then I also got it in green and I just think they're so adorable. And then I've got a little outfit in three zeros, I think. Yeah, three zeros, which I, I am pretty confident that my sister bought this. So the top is just this little brown top with buttons and a little pocket so adorable and it's like a waffle material and then these knitted oatmeal-y brown beige pants so um they go together like a little outfit i can't really hold it up but yeah so that's everything we picked up from target or target um and the last store is big w because we don't have a big w anywhere else in the state except in hobart um, so I just wanted to go in and see what they had. Again, I wasn't overly impressed with their range. Like, I feel like they have more online. I did pick up some things because we were there. And like I said, I prefer to shop in person for this kind of stuff for baby clothes. Um, so I thought while I'm there, I'm just going to go a little bit nuts. I bought this two pack of just plain white ribbed singlet suits in four zeros. Yeah, I'm just kind of stocking up on these little singlet suits. Brett loves little hats with ears on them. So I bought this two little two pack of little hats with ears in the beigey oatmeal color they have it in white as well i don't know i just thought this will go better with more of his clothes my sister saw this in the clearance and it is a size zero which i am mainly focusing on four zeros and three zeros just to like get me through the first few months but this was in the clearance section for seven dollars it's a size zero and it's just like a beige long suit with 
buttons down the front but like the bottom has poppers so you can just take them off to change the nappy this one i saw and it, this one is three zeros and it was like the last one there and it's like this little green suit so adorable um i think that's three zeros yeah and then the last two things we bought in hobart apart from obviously the car seat which is boring so i'm not going to show you um are two little two packs of little baby leggings these are a double zero they came with a little green pair and a little gray pair so i thought they were cute and then these are three zeros and it's a little terracotta orangey rusty color um pair and a little beige pair that is everything we bought in Hobart. It was such a fun day to go with my mum and my sister and just go shopping and just buy things for the baby. I'm super happy with everything we got. There was a couple things we didn't get that were on the list. One of them was a bouncer because I want this particular bouncer from Baby Bjorn, but the colour I want is not in stock anywhere. Um, so I think I'm going to sacrifice that, go with a black one and maybe buy it secondhand. We'll see how we go. But there's like still things I need to buy, obviously. Um, and I'm still only in my second trimester, so I've got plenty of time. That's it. That's it for this haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.